guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this Eid tutorial. I know I usually would be wearing some ethnic wear right now, but I just didn't get a chance to put it all on and I wanted to get this up to you guys and show you guys a really easy Eid makeup tutorial that you guys can wear. It's really bronzy, orangey, and it's paired with a bold lip just to keep it nice and bold and fresh. I will be showing you guys more Eid looks and this is the first of them all. I hope you guys like it. So if you want to know how I got this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and start off my Eve bronzy look with the 35-0 M palette. This is by Morphe. And this is all matte shadows in nice earthy tones. So I'm going to go ahead and take this yellow shadow right here. It's like a yellow brown shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my crease. And I really like this shade because it's like, it's very, um, very, it's a very unique shade. So it makes me super excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that in to my crease. And then I'm just going to beautifully blend it out to avoid any harsh lines. Such a beautiful crease color. It is definitely one of my favorite crease colors. It just looks so pretty on the eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with this setting brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to go ahead and use this as my blending brush. So I like to use this brush when I just really want a smoked out look. This eye look is so simple you guys. It's not hard at all. And the only key to it is blending. That's the biggest thing that you have to worry about is getting a nice blend into your eyes and also finding your crease. We've discussed this in my other videos, but I love to always remind you guys that your crease is, especially if you have a hooded eyes like me, if you have hooded eyes like me, your crease is going to be, when you open your eyes, it's going to be right there. So this is my, like, this is my bone, and my crease is right in there. So, like, it's not technically right here where there's a line. It's more like inwards. So I go in deeper with the brush, and that just creates a much more washed out, more beautiful crease and it's much more easier to blend so you always want to just keep your eyes open especially if you have hooded eyes you want to keep your eyes open and try to find your crease like that obviously makeup takes practice so just keep on practicing and perfect your look and then you can extend it out over here on the side because you can eventually just clean it up with concealer or something but when you are going to blend it out try to blend it out in a winged motion so you can um you know, have that little elongated effect with your eyes. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a more dense brush. This is the brush I got from the Kylie kit. I usually use my MAC 214 brushes, but they're all dirty. No, 217 brushes. They're all dirty, but this is very similar. It's not as good, but it's very similar. And for the purposes of the video, I'm going to use this brush to show you guys. Now, why I switched out to this brush is mostly because this is going to pack on more color, and I'm going to put color more on the outer crease of my eye, and I want something much more darker darker or much more denser. So the denser the brush, the more you can get packed on. Looking at the palette, I definitely want something more darker, but also have a very warm tone to it. So I am basically going to go in with this color right here. It has, it's like, it's almost like a cafe color or coffee color. It's very, very dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pack the color onto my brush. Is I'm going to just pack it. See, it's just packing it on. I'm not going to really blend it yet. I'm going to pack it on. And then go back in with your blending brush. And then you're just going to smoke it out. So you're getting the color nicely focused and packed on to one spot. And, you know, when you're using these cheaper brand... When you use these cheaper brand eyeshadows, that's usually the method that you want to go with. You want to pack on and you don't want to do too much blending with the same brush because all it does is just makes it really messy and you don't get the true pigment of the shades because it is a cheaper brand. So you do have to pick up extra pigment just to get like the actual, you know, look of the shadow. It's not necessarily means that the shadows are not good. It just means that <laughs> it takes time to build up. But that's the same, that's the thing with everything that's affordable. All makeup that's affordable, it's like the buildup is there. Even the foundations that you're going to use, you have to build them up. As you guys can tell, there's a line right there. So that line, it needs to get removed. And how you do that is you use a clean blending brush. This is mine's. 
And I only use this brush when I want to have a very smoked out look. But if I want something a little bit more concentrated, then I will use a smaller brush. And then of course you can wipe away your under eyes too if you have fallout. I'm going to go into the 350S palette. And this is a shimmer version, so it's a bunch of shimmery neutral colors any girl can dream of. I'm going to go in with this nice copper tone right here. Excuse my nails being broken, sorry. I'm just going to go in with this nice copper tone right here. Just to make the colors intensity much more pigmented, I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush. Go ahead and pick up some color onto the brush right there. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to pack, remember you guys, pack, pack that color on. Keep this look simple. I'm going to avoid doing any eyeliner since this is supposed to be a simple eye look for those people who are just in a hurry and who just want to wear something glamorous but at the same time make it super easy. So I'm just going to avoid the eyeliner. If you're really good at doing eyeliner, then go ahead and wear eyeliner. I will be doing more looks for Eve where I will do more glamorous cut creases, bam, eyeliner. But this is my first little e tutorial of the season. So I wanted to show you guys something that was simple and easy and quick. So now that I have my eyeshadow done, I still need to fill in the brow bone and bring some brightness there. But I'm also going to go in and do my brows. I've been really into doing my brows after I've got an eyeshadow on because I'm able to know how intense to make my brows now. I don't know why I'm like really into it. So I'm going to take this Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in the color Ebony and I'm just going to go ahead and just put that onto my brows. Having my, my eyeshadow done and then doing my brows, oh my gosh, it has been actually the best type of results I've been getting. Unfortunately, excuse me, my brows are not done. I get my brows done like every two months or every three months. I let my brows grow out every single time because I just feel like when I go to the threading place too often, they butcher my eyebrows or even the waxing place. It doesn't matter who I go to, my eyebrows get butchered. So I just let them grow all the way and then I go. I just want to highlight my brow bone. I'm just going to go in with a kind of champagne-y shade. I'm going to go into the shimmer palette and take that champagne-y shade and pop that under my brow bone. Now that I fill in my brows, that was a mission. So I'm going to start from back here and I'm just going to basically warm up that area. I really need to get my brows done, you guys. It's not looking cute. Like, okay, it looks like I'm done with my shadow. Now I'm going to move on to prepping my face for my foundation. I'm going to go ahead and take this For Sally Care Unicorn Essence. And this is my favorite. As you guys know, this is a game changer for me. Ever since I started using this product, my foundation goes on very nice and flawless. And it just stays on perfectly. And since we are going to be wearing E, then sometimes we start E in the morning. And we have makeup on for the whole day. So you definitely want to use this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on my cheek, cheeks and then I'm going to blend it in. And for my foundation today, I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Foundation. This has SP of 20 in it. This gives you more of a natural vibe since I'm going to be doing some layers on my skin today because I want to make my, you know, my makeup last all day. I want to start in with a more lighter weight foundation and then I'm just going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to blend it in. I usually like to stamp it in. Time to go ahead and conceal your under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is the ultimate popular concealer that everybody's like loving. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto my under eye to smoke it out so beautifully. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this E45 brush and I'm going to basically stipple all of this out, like just stamp it all out. I'm now going to go in with this Hourglass Ethereal Ambient Lighting Powder by Hourglass. And I love this powder because it just brings brightness into your look. And I always just like to put it on underneath my eyes and swoop it like all over like the center of my face. For my under eye, I'm going to go ahead and just take that dark brown 
color. Try to just dab it on and then smoke it out. Okay, now that I've gotten my eyeshadow pretty much done, finally, you guys, the so-called easy look. I'm gonna go in with this highlight by Lime Crime. It's um, a highlight powder, and it comes with gold, pink, and peach. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix all three colors together. And I'm gonna go a little high with my highlighter today because I want my face to look nice and lifted. I feel like because I don't have eyeliner on, I need to like make sure everything just looks lifted. Take it all high up. I really love mixing these three. Oh my gosh, it just gives it such a pretty color. In with some blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bobbi Brown palette that you guys always see me use. I'm obsessed with her blushes. They're like the perfect matte blushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix in Poppy, which is this color, and Clementine, which is this color. This one's like more of a reddish. This is more of a peachy, and then I'm just going to pop that onto my cheeks. It's very extreme, but I really wanted some extreme foundation. I mean blush, because blush just lifts your face. I'm going to really like that look. I know it looks all really heavy right now, and it's because I don't have eyelashes on. This look definitely requires lashes. I'm also going to use a contour brush from Morphe and go into that bronzer. And I'm going to basically mark my contouring. Because I'm not the best at contouring my nose. Still don't know how to do it correctly. I mean, I do my best. But it's deaf, not what I like. Also, just to amp up this look, I'm going to go ahead and take this Stilla Magnificent. And I'm going to basically dab it. As you guys can tell, I did leave this space a little open. And that's because I wanted to give... This look a little bit of a oomph. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Mykonos Lily lashes. These are my favorite lashes from Lily. They're so comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach them onto my lids with my eyelash glue, and then I will be right back. Guys, super neutral. I'm gonna go in with a bolder lip, and I'm just gonna go in with this Kylie Court K lip. I don't know, I'm really into purples right now. So I feel like purple and orange just go really well together. So I'm just going to go on with this lip. Thank you so much for waiting till the end and seeing the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and you liked what I did. Comment down below and let me know if you want to know what else to do or what other looks you want me to do. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications. Oh my god, there's so much stuff we're trying to tell you guys to do for us. But if you love me and you got support from me, do all those. I will see you guys on Instagram and I will see you on Snapchat where I am Glam by Runa. So I'm going to go ahead and say bye to you guys and I'll see you guys on Snapchat and Instagram. My Instagram and Snapchat are both down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!